when we receive something like that, there might be multiple levels of meaning or understanding or experience of it. So, you know, for someone, when you hear the word Gregorian, they will think of Gregorian chanting monks. And that uh, some people will say that that carries a solfeggio scale and it has frequency within it, which can very much help in meditation and that type of thing. Um, others will hear the word Gregorian, they immediately feel Gregorian calendar. So it's about dates or it's talking about understanding dates or because the, the Gregorian calendar is obviously our, the way we phrase what year we're in and, and all of that and the months of the year and everything else. Someone else might have a completely different understanding and none of them would be wrong <laughs> because it's how God speaks to individuals. When it comes to a group, I, I would sort of think, you know, and you're looking to engage God sort of the Gregorian uh, things doesn't mean that you have to go into Gregorian chanting necessarily, but what was behind it? And what does that, what, what was behind it? And I think there's a lot about frequency and resonance with the Gregorian chanting system that was tied to sort of frequency, solfeggio frequency scales, which, um, which can be helpful when it comes to healing, wholeness and other things, you know, um, but that might just be one aspect of it, you know, right. um, and you, you're, you're probably wise to sort of say, hold on, let's, let's see what the father wants to, to show us rather than just going on one word and developing a new theology about that word, which is you know, a danger, uh, <laughs> you know, but I think, it's exciting that God can speak to us and it yeah. begin to expand our consciousness and an awareness. Not everyone necessarily will have the same, that will have the same impact on some people. It might, they might already be there in that understanding. And for them, it's just like, Oh yeah, I already believe that for others. It might be life transforming in yeah. that it opens them up to an understanding of engaging light, sound, frequency, harmony, resonance, all of those things in a way which is linked to intimacy you know wow. what were they doing while they chanted why were they chanting you know and you know, it was their way of worship in in a sense in that way now i think it was it was more than that some people will tie it into the key of david and hidden uh chords within stuff you know i mean there's all sorts of things which and how much of that is totally true you know if you're really interested in solfeggio frequencies and things like that a friend of mine dell hungerford she has a really good article on it on her web page and she she's a musician she's a classically trained musician she produces uses crystal bowls and things to produce sounds and music and stuff and she really sort of demystifies some of the solfeggio scale things and how that relates to frequency and how that relates to that it's very interesting some of it is a little bit like you know up there for me as it's like yeah I'm, I'm okay with that um but but she's she's really good and she's she's filled with life and love and fun and everything else in it so i would encourage anybody to if they're interested in frequency and harmony resonance and all that stuff to to look at her website it's great isn't it that new things are opening up and all sorts of um yeah positive things are happening i'd like to introduce you to the engaging god program join us and hundreds of others around the world on this exciting adventure and i'll look forward to walking with you on this journey